Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new smart power case from Furious FPV. This product was designed specially for the Furious FPV docking, but it's going to enable you to practically power every FPV goggles in the market. Inside the bag we get in the smart power case. By the way, this is the final production version. You can see this is not made out of 3D printed material. This is made out of molded plastic. We also get in a screwdriver. This adapter that will enable you to charge the inner batteries. And we also get in this small instructions manual. So why on earth would you need an instructions manual for a simple battery case? And the answer is that this is not a simple battery case, it's a smart one, it actually has an OLED screen and it packs some really nice features. Now first of all, this smart power case doesn't come with any batteries, so you're going to need to provide your own 18650 batteries. When purchasing them online, you have to be a little bit careful because there are lots of fake batteries in the market. For example, on this one it states that its capacity is 3800 mAh and this one is a 2600 mAh LiPo battery. However, this one weighs only 24 grams and this one, which is supposed to be lighter because its capacity is lower, weighs 43 grams. So this one is the real battery and this is just a fake one. So I'm going to put a link to this one in the description box down below. The battery compartment is located underneath this door, so you're going to need to remove these two screws. Then place the batteries and then you can put back the cover. Now as I mentioned before, this is not your standard battery case. You can see that now the power case is connected to the docking, the switch is on but it hasn't been turned on. Even after powering on the smart case, you can see the Fuel FPV logo appeared but still if you want to power it on, you need to short press it and then long press it. Now it's going to be turned on and the docking was turned on as well. On the OLED screen you can see some information. First of all, we can see the battery voltage, the current ampere that is being drawn from the battery, a timer, the total milliampere hour that we used, the temperature, and then the call sign. In order to turn off the battery, you will need to short press it and then long press it again. Now it was turned off. So this smart battery also double acts as a power button, so you can just leave it connected to your Fetcher goggles for example, and then you can just turn it on and turn it off using its button. Accessing the configuration menu is done by short pressing this button and then you need to press it twice. Entering the setting is done by short pressing this button and if you want to move between the options you will need to long press this button. First of all you can set the low voltage which is going to sound an alarm when the battery is going to reach this value. You can also set the maximum ampere that can be drawn from the battery. You can turn on and off the alarm which means that after this amount of time an alarm will be sound. The default option is none, I recommend to leave it for 30 minutes, so in case the battery is going to be connected for this period of time, an alarm will be sound. If you want to select an option, you will need to long press this button and then hit exit. You can also set the call sign, the default one is Furious FPV, so I'm going to set it to Kramer FPV. In case a couple of pilots are using this type of battery, it can prevent a confusion. So now it's set to Kramer FPV. You can also set the cutoff, which means the battery is going to turn itself off when it's going to reach this value. And finally you can also set the temperature, so the units can be set either to degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Now by the way, setting up the low voltage value is also going to prevent you from using the battery in case the voltage is going to be lower than the value that you specified. So now for example I'm going to turn it on, but it's not going to allow me to because it's going to state low voltage and after about 10 seconds the battery is also going to turn itself off. Charging the internal batteries can be done in a few ways. First of all you can use the included adapter, all you have to do is just connect the balance port and connect the XT60 and the balance plug into a charger and charge it as a normal 2S battery. In addition, you can also use this simple charger, which I use normally to charge my Fetchuck batteries. And finally, you can also use this DC female banana plug, which was included with my Fetchuck goggles. So all you have to do is to connect it like that, and then you can plug this port into the balance port of your charger and connect these two ends to your charger, and again, charge it as a normal 2S LiPo battery. In case you're wondering, while the internal batteries inside the case are being charged, there is no indication for it on the OLED screen. In terms of dimensions, the smart power case weighs 52.4 grams without the batteries of course, so it's a little bit heavier than the battery case from Fetchuck which weighs 40 grams. In addition, the weight included in the batteries is about 139.8 grams, so it is significantly heavier than the standard battery pack from Fetchuck which weighs 91.6 grams. The size of the smart power case is very similar to the battery case from Fetchuck, so it's designed to fit Fetchuck goggles. We can see we have displacement that is going to enable you to just fit it inside the strap like that. And as I mentioned before, unlike the battery case from Fetchuck, you can just leave it connected and use this button in order to power it on and power it off. 
The balance port, however, is not regulated, so you can see when I'm going to plug it and press this button, it's going to turn on the fan, and unlike the DC port, it's not controlled by the button. The fan itself has a timer, so it's going to turn itself off after a certain while, but just to be on the safe side, I recommend to leave this port disconnected. Now, as I mentioned before, the smart power case was designed specially for the Furious FPV docking. So we've got metal plates on the top and on the bottom. So the docking just simply snaps on like that. Also on the other side. In terms of pricing, the smart power case costs $30. So this is definitely not a cheap product. However, I do think that it's worth its price because it adds two important features. First of all, it double acts as a power and on and off button for your goggles. And second of all, and even more important, after defining the timer in the menu, even if you leave your goggles connected to the battery, it's going to turn itself off. Whereas if you're going to use the standard batteries, your goggles are going to be on until the battery is going to be depleted, which will probably damage the battery and even worse can damage your goggles because the goggles are going to be inside the case, probably not in a ventilated area and it might damage them as well. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the smart power case, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.